Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Caitlin Canute with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines this Friday. A man accused of murder will walk free after serving nearly two decades behind bars. Keith Carnes of Kansas City was found guilty of murdering Larry White in 2003, but he has always maintained his innocence. Recently, the Missouri Supreme Court ruled key evidence. Eyewitness testimony was withheld from his defense team and ordered Carnes to be released unless prosecutors decided to retry that case. Well, today, just this afternoon, the Jackson County prosecutor declined to retry the case, noting that while there wasn't enough evidence to prove his innocence, there wasn't enough evidence to prove his guilt either. Two children remain in critical condition after flames swept through an apartment building earlier this morning. They are among 15 people who were hurt in that fire that happened just after midnight on East 42nd Street. We're told nine of the victims were children. Right now, the cause of the fire is still unknown. Thankfully, everyone who lives in that building has been accounted for. We also now know the identities of the people who died in a suspected double murder-suicide yesterday in Overland Park. The deceased have been identified as 71-year-old Johnny Hill, 64-year-old Susan Hill, and 34-year-old Desiree Hill. Overland Park police say they were called to that home on the 9200 block of Neiman Road by a family member for a welfare check. When they arrived, they found three bodies as well as the family pet dead. Police say that case is still under investigation. Now here's Wes Peary with the forecast. Cold temperatures overnight tonight, a hard freeze warning in effect with lows by Saturday morning. In the middle to upper 20s underneath the clear sky. That means we'll find mostly sunny skies here Saturday. Great weather for the sporting match and for the Royals game as well. 64 in the afternoon, 77 on Sunday afternoon with a chance of an early morning thunderstorm on Monday. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.